right so I have my design file open you can get the design in the description you can even use this code to get 80% off so what I'm doing is I'm just going to show you how my design came in and what I'm going to do to alter it to fit what I need So you can see we have this here and when this design comes in everything is grouped together so the first thing I'm going to do is right click and ungroup it now there are two versions of this and this top one has the bow tie that goes right on top I'm gonna to go ahead and delete this top section I don't really need it so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it now for this one uh, these templates come separated for me already so I could cut them but I actually want to do a little bit of uh, a difference and a resize in them so let's go ahead and delete these two and let's get rid of that little guy. So right now my skeleton is 9.250 inches wide. So that's a decent size. I want this to be really big on my chest, but I also want it to fit on my piece of easy weed. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to take this and stretch it out. And so easy weed is 15 inches long and then 12 inches wide if you get a foot. So what I'm doing is I'm watching over here to make sure this doesn't go too far. And what I'll do real quick is go to my page setup over here on the left. I'll say I am not using a cutting mat, so let's turn that off. And then let's set my design to 12 inches wide, and then I'm going to do 15 inches tall. And the reason why I'm setting it up in here is that this will give me a better perspective of how long I can actually make my design before it's cut off. This red box around here is my safe cutting area. When you feed in your material, your rollers go in this space right here, and then this space right here kind of factors in between your blade and your rollers. So you can't fit a design to the very edge of your vinyl because there'll be nothing to hold onto it. So I'm gonna set it up within this red area. I'm gonna take it and kind of bump it down just a tiny bit so it's a little bit more even, and then we can move this hard out for our cutting. So now I have my design. I've maxed out the space I can do, so almost 11 inches wide. So now that I am all set, I'm going to right click, I'm going to flip horizontally, and then I'll be all set to cut. Now typically I would do a weed box around my design, but because it's taking up basically all of my vinyl, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that. So we can go over to our send panel, and one thing I want to do is I'm going to select both my shapes, go to the send panel, and right now the cut lines are turned off because this came in as an SVG. I'm just going to go over, turn on cut, and now you can see my cut lines turn on. So I'm just gonna go over, use my preset for easy weed that I have in here. If you would like to learn how to program your own cut settings, find the link in the description. Also, I'll have it up at the top to show you so you can click on it right now if you'd like. And so I have these all set. So I'm gonna load in my vinyl, do this cut, and then we'll be ready for the next step. So I have my shirt here, and this is my big transfer. I cut out my heart in red glitter. Just a really simple design, I have it set up. And it's really little, this is, you know, maybe an inch and a half, maybe two inches. Okay, so we're gonna lay my design on my shirt. So a couple things to keep in mind, my design is bigger than my plate. My heat press is a 15 by 15 heat press, so this is going to have to be done in two presses no matter what. Not a big deal, but I just wanna let you know that's what's gonna happen. My design is, uh, my shirt is a scoop neck, so I just wanna kinda keep this, I don't know, somewhat higher. I'm lining it off of the collar there because this is going to take up a big chunk of the shirt. Typically my designs are like nine and a half inches. This design is bigger than my typical, so I just wanna be careful. I'm just checking it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my heat press down for a couple seconds. I have my press set at 310 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it down and close it quickly. This is just to get my vinyl to stick so I can move my next section up. Now don't forget, vinyl will activate after a couple seconds. You do need that full cure time or amount of heat on it for your press to be fully done. But we do have it set like that. And actually, my whole design is on the plate right now. Now my design is, I think I remember it being about 12 inches long, maybe a little bit longer. My press is 15 by 15. So I am able to have it all in the whole plate. I got confused. <laughs> but we have this all set, and now I'm gonna drop my heart on here. So typically with your last color, you can kind of just do your whole press at one time. I am just gonna tack this down again, and the reason being is I don't want this carrier mark in my um, little skeleton. That'll leave a dent in it. So I'm gonna go, go ahead, bring it down, lift it up, 
So now we're all set. Let's go ahead and lift that. So now my heart is on my skeleton. So now we're all set. Let's go ahead, drop this down, and I'm gonna finish up my press for about 10 seconds. All right, there's my press. And if you look closely, you can kind of see it glow when I lift up my heat press. So don't forget, this is our Caesar Glow in the Dark Easy Weed and Caesar Glitter in Red. Okay guys, that is our finished shirt. I was able to do it super quickly using the design in the description. This is a glow in the dark skeleton shirt using Caesar glow in the dark easy weed and red glitter. And I actually just used a scrap of it. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tutorials. And let me know in the comments below, what kind of shirts are you making for Halloween?